Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use compressors. I am using FL Studios compressors but they all works the same way. For this tutorial I'm using Fruity Limiter as my compressor because it's visual feedback. Even though it is called a limiter, it also works as compressor. In FL Studio you also have Fruity Compressor and Maximus which are compressors as well and works the same way. But now let's focus on the Fruity Limiter. Compression is a useful tool to control the dynamic range of a sound. Dynamic range simply means the difference between the loudest and the quietest part of a sound. For example here we have a snare sample. The dynamic range of this sample goes from the highest parts from here to the lowest parts. With compression we can shape this dynamic range. For example, we could want to just to raise the volume of the lowest parts but keep the volume at same level for the higher parts of the sample. Or we could bring down the volume of the highest parts to the same level as the lowest parts are now. So in other words we are just bringing the highest and the lowest volume levels of a sound closer together to make the sound more even. You can apply compression on any sound, sample or even the whole track when you are mastering. But now I'm, I'm going to show you how the compressor works and how we can bring down the higher parts of our snare sample to around same level as our lower parts. To do this, we only need to worry about these four knobs which are called threshold, ratio, attack, and release. These knobs can be found on every compressor. The threshold is the volume level when the compressor goes on and starts compressing. The compressor works only when the volume level of your sound goes above the threshold level you have set. The ratio means how much compression is applied. The higher the value is, the higher the compression is. The attack knob tells us how much time it takes the compressor to start compressing when the threshold level is reached. The release knob tells us how much time it takes the compressor to stop compressing when the volume of the sound goes below the threshold level. Now I'm going to apply the compression. Keep your eye on the visual feedback to see what is happening. The violet color means that the sound is being compressed. Now we have compressed the sample. If the volume level of the sound is too low after the compression, you can use this gain knob to raise the volume of your compressed sound. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.